The Wiltshire Equine Assisted Learning Centre is based near Melksham. Owner Heather Watson has been working with young people who are finding it hard to attend traditional school. One of the parents told me about her son's progress. He's 10 years old um, and he's not been settling in school very well. Um, getting very angry, very agitated, anxious and upset about going in the classroom. Um, lots of issues going on at home as well. Um, between me and, and him, again, getting very angry at home, socially not mixing well with the other children, getting himself into trouble with the police, you name it, Will's pretty much done most of it. Um, but since coming here, he's, um, I can see my old Will starting to come back again, which is just lovely, really, really lovely. He's not so quick to fire off, he kind of takes a step back and thinks about things. Um, Bedtime's always been an issue as well, which is another thing Heather's been working with him. He's got his own little set of horses, worry horses, that he takes home with him, tucks them up in bed at night time. He's just started now going into his own bedroom um, and, and sleeping, because he's always been in with me before. So for me to have that bit of space is just lovely. So, so is yeah. he at secondary school? Not yet, September he's starting, but we don't know at the moment where he's going to go. But I'm hoping he can keep coming here because she's just brilliant with him. She really is. Yeah. <laughs> it's calming him down a lot. It really is. Um, I don't know, just little things like before if he dropped something, that would just be the end of the world for him. But now you can see him, he just kind of takes a step back and he still gets angry at stuff. He's still, you know, he's learning, he's learning to process it's a lot more. Like doing the obstacles here, before, if the horse hadn't gone over it, he'd have got really angry with the horse and just stormed off and run away and not wanted to carry on. But he's, he's working his way through it and, yeah, his confidence has gone up as well. You know, he just had, he had, well he still has, got really low self-esteem, dags himself all the time and worries and, but he's slowly, like I say, slowly coming back and I can see glimpses of my old will coming back. Yeah. There's been a lot, a lot going on in Will's life, separation, um, his dad lived just over the road from us and there was no boundaries, he could just go, come and go as he pleased between the two households. Um, the children come along and Will just can't, can't kind of deal with change at all. So I think everything just kind of got on top of him and he couldn't really work it out, you know? We're getting there. Good. That's good. <laughs> so if Slowly somebody sure. else was thinking of coming, what would you say? Oh, yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. Give it give it a go. See what we can do. It's done wonders for him. You know, I would, oh, yeah. It's just, it's just unbelievable, the change in him. Like I say, since coming here, the, it is... His just whole general attitude is so much calmer. His whole body language, everything. He can just work things out for himself. Yeah, no, I'd say, I'd say come and have a go and see what, see what it is. How long has he been coming for now? Uh, two, two and a half months, must be, at least, yeah. What was he like on his first session? Very anxious. He does, like, new things, because it's a new thing. Um, he gets very anxious, very agitated, angry. Um, the bear comes out. But once he was here, once he got settled in, and, you know, with Heather and, and the horses, he just loved it. He loves coming here. He's bolting out the door. Well, he's, he's in school now a day, but doesn't go into class. Um, he hasn't been in full-time school for just over a year now. Um, but this morning, he went in for an hour with children in the class, with his TA with him. Um, he did 14 minutes last week without children in the class, so it was slowly... And he, he's so proud of himself, he really is. We're all proud of him. Mm. Yeah. That was another challenge that Heather set for him. So again, you know, Heather is God, <laughs> whatever she says. <laughs> well, she's done wonders with the sleeping, the anger, yeah. So, and now, fingers crossed, we're getting back into school. For more information about equine assisted learning, please contact Heather Watson on 07888 or email heather.watson at equineassistedqualifications.com.